Welcome. So what I want to do in this section is show you how to solve rational expressions or equations, actually, not expressions. So you can see it's an equation because we have this equal sign here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of start with some basics. And this is even going back to, uh, uh, to our early, um, early examples of just solving equations. But it's something to get us kind of used to. Because whenever we had fractions, a lot of us would always just stop and pause and be like, ah, I'm getting really, really scared. Well, unfortunately, this whole section is dealing with fractions. So we're going to have to kind of get over that. now. The way to help you to get over that is let's get rid of the fractions. I think that's a very, uh, very fair statement. You could say, OK, I kind of like that idea. So to get rid of the fractions, what we need to do is we need to multiply by the least common denominator of all of our terms. right? So when dealing with e rational equations, we need to multiply by the, the least common denominator by every single term. So I look at this. I have 4, 1, and 8. Therefore, I can determine that my LCD is just going to equal 8, because that's the smallest number that every one of my denominators evenly divides into. So therefore, then what I do is I take my LCD, and I multiply it by every single term. And what that's going to do is that's going to now eliminate most or all of my fractions. So over here, I have 8 times 1 divided by 4. Well, that's just going to leave me with 2. 8 times x over 1, that's just going to be leave me with a 8x, and that equals uh, x. Now I just simply get my variable on the same side. So now I'll just add 8x. And I have 2 equals 9x divided by 2, divided by 2. And I get x equals 2 9 So therefore, now I have solved my rational equation. Thanks.